Hi guys, it's Colette, and today we're going to be working on this pink and gold smooshy marble using some more colors from the China Glaze My Little Pony collection. If you like nail art, be sure you're subscribed to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures, and if you'd like to see how I did this design, just stay tuned. Starting out with clean, dry nails, I'm going to apply my base coat. As usual, I'm using Ready for Takeoff which is a peel-off base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. The colors that I'm using today are all from the China Glaze My Little Pony collection. The gold is Best Ponies Forever. The neon pink is She's a Maniac. And the lighter pink is Sweet as Pinkie Pie. And that's the color that I'm going to be using as my base. Once I get that applied on all my nails, I'm going to go ahead and add a layer of Simply Peel just to protect around the edges. I'm going to be using my Moyu London, not sure if you can see the name on there actually, uh, crystal clear stamper. And you don't have to use a clear stamper to do smooshy marbles, but I do find it a little bit easier. You can kind of see what you're doing instead of going at it completely blind. And I'm just going to get a few drops of each color out here. And once I've got them dabbed on there, then I'm just going to dab it onto my nail a couple times. And that's it, really. I'm trying not to over dab, but uh, you do want to make sure you get a good mix of the colors on your nail. And if you have a lot of excess pooling around the sides, like this is my pinky, I really could have probably skipped a few drops. You can use an orange stick to help your cleanup. And I might actually do that a little bit more after I remove the latex here because that was really quite a bit more polished than that nail needed. I'm gonna find the edge of the latex. Go ahead and peel it off. And, yeah, get in there just a little bit more with the orange stick. Of course, once I finish all my nails, I'll be going in with my usual cleanup brush, but this just helps make that a little easier. Then, you do have some leftover polish on the stamper. I've just got a clean paper towel, as well as a little mini lint roller to the side here to get it all cleaned off. And then I'm going to move on to the next nail. Just to also note, some people like to use the side of their finger for drag marbling and also sometimes for smushy marbling to pull away the excess polish rather than like I did with the orange stick. But I prefer the orange stick personally because I feel like it disturbs the design less. Like if you go with your finger and then pull it away, it kind of pulls the design in that direction too, if that makes sense. So which you do, as with most things nail polish, is up to your personal preference.
Finally, I'm going to finish everything off with a top coat. And as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. So here's the finished manicure, and I really like the way this turned out. I have a couple little tiny spots that I could nitpick just because my eye always goes to what I perceive as the imperfections. Kind of wish there was a little bit more gold on this pinky and that I hadn't done quite as much smooshing as I did on this thumb. But overall, the colors worked really well together. And of course, I'd love to hear what you guys think of the combination down in the comments. If you'd like to see the other colors from China Glaze's My Little Pony collection, be sure to check out my review video. If you want to see the peel, stay tuned over on my Instagram because I do plan on keeping this on for a while. But I hope you guys all enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching.